Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing an unboxing. This is the new Anthology Tribe box set from Vinyl Me Please. They did a thousand of these. It's cut by Bernie Grunman. It sounds like from the blurb, some of these might be transferred and remixed digitally. Some of these would be cut uh, directly from the analog two-track tapes. The wording is a little bit, you know, iffy on how they did some of it. But from the sound of it, there's a good chunk of this box set that is analog. Tribe is an amazing label. If you're into, you know, the more avant-garde jazz, the more spiritual jazz from the mid-70s era, this is the label for you. Some of this stuff is buku buku box. Actually, everything on this label is quite expensive. Vibe, vibes from the Tribe, Phil Ranland, that's like a $1,000 record, $1,500 record if you can find an original. They're few and far between. Uh, a lot of this stuff has been reissued already by Pure Pleasure out of the United Kingdom. But, you know, Vinyl Me Please was a little bit more forthcoming on their sources and, you know, what they did as far as the mastering is concerned with this. It's out of print. They did a thousand of them. This thing has been sold out for uh, quite a few weeks, maybe months now. I want to say I ordered this maybe the end of last year. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. But let's crack it open. Let's see exactly. <laughs> so like the Grateful Dead box set, they actually have the Tribe packing tape on this. And this is a very similar box to the Grateful Dead. So we've got a little uh, Tribe sticker. Super, super cool. You'll notice I'm coming to you from my back storage room. A lot of people in the store today tried filming this out there. Didn't really work well. So, grabbed the camera, grabbed the tripod, went into the back room. So, let's see what we got here. So, you got essentially a little one sheet on the history of Tribe. And there's some QR codes on the back. They have them broken down into like this episode to where you can kind of hear the history uh, about the label. You know, they started this with the Motown box that they did a while back. But it's seven albums. Looks like uh, Wendell Harrison and Phil Renelin had a little bit of a hand in this. Those two are the main guys on this label. There is a tribe membership card. It's essentially a business card. You write your information down. And here is the box set. So I've got box 641 of 1,000. They are hand numbered on the bottom. Just kind of checking it out. No damage, looks nice. It's packed really well. Custom made black inserts. Kind of nestled it nicely in that box set, but let's crack it open. Vinyl Me Please is real spotty. You know, some of their stuff is fantastic. If it's on black vinyl, if it's pressed at QRP, as long as it's shipped to you in one piece, you'll generally be good. Their shipping boxes on their individual monthly subscription LPs are not that good. I get a lot of damage and unfortunately they have a we don't care attitude. If you contact them up and tell them there's damage to a corner, say you got a two inch dent on a record, they don't take care of it. They'll give you a $5 credit and say, you know, you're on your own. We don't consider the superficial damage uh, something to take, you know, something that we're gonna replace a jacket for which is odd because, you know, they're doing a lot of analog stuff. They're doing things to appease to audio files, appease audio files, analog tip on jacket, the whole nine yards. I mean, if you look at some of these, let's pull out a message from the tribe, which is right on top, you know, real nice, high quality stout and tip on laminated tip on jacket, you know, so they're making records that appeal specifically to audio files. But if an audio file gets a corner that's two inch crushed, you're kind of on your own. They're not gonna do anything for you. But I'll check that out in a minute. This book is actually something awesome. Let me uh, come on over to the camera there and you can kinda, this is, this is gonna be a fun read. There's a massive quantity of information here. The story of tribe records, photographs, Oh, I can see now. So maybe this is a 
the membership card. Maybe that was something they gave you originally when you purchased the record. Maybe that was an insert. Look at that. Tribe 8-track tape. I've never seen that. Of course, I don't see many 8-track tapes, period. Vibes from the Tribe. I actually got a sealed copy of this. Put it on eBay, no reserve. At the time, they were going for $1,500, $2,000 sealed. I got $550 bucks for it. I was so disappointed. You know, it was a no reserve auction. Less than an actual open copy would have went for. I should have kept it. Man, I love this. Very, very cool. So I've got a lot of original, personally original tribe records. Uh, and then I've got a lot of, I, you know, I've already had all these. Between originals and uh, the Pure Pleasure reissues, which are actually quite nice. Because you got to keep in mind, a lot of these, the originals are on really low quality vinyl. They don't sound that good to begin with. But yeah, let me come back over there. So these look pretty nice. Got Bernie Grunman's information and the Dead Wax. I'm going to give these a listen. And I will actually uh, fill you guys back in on the sound quality on tomorrow's new arrival video. They, I mean, Vinyl Me Please, when it comes to box sets, they really don't. They're fantastic. I just wish they're wish their customer service and their shipping methods would you know would go along with the with the effort they put into this product Wendell Harrison an evening with the devil they're all in nice polyline sleeves I mean this is something I never thought I'd live to see the day when we had audiophile reissues from Tribe Records <laughs> I never thought that would happen you know, this is such a squirrely little avant-garde label. Just didn't see that on the horizon. But with the Vinyl Revival, a company like Vinyl Me Please can actually get away with doing a little small batch thousand of these. Although I got to say the Pure Pleasures, the Pure Pleasure titles that they've done have been extremely, extremely nice and popular. Phil Rallin, Wendell Harrison. I mean, they did a great job on these covers. You know, these aren't simple scans. It looks like they went back and recreated a lot of these covers from scratch. I often recommend people the uh, vibes from the tribe. And there's a pure, I've got the pure pleasure version of this and I'll show it to you tomorrow too in my new arrival video. I got a chunk of these in from pure pleasure. This is an amazing album. My favorite of the lot. If you're a fan of drum breaks, this is an album that I'm sure has been sampled countless times by DJs. It's an amazing, you know, there's some amazing drum beats on that re this record. Yeah. Bernie Grunman again and the Dead Wax. Now let's see. Yeah, it looks like a lot of this was just re a recreated cover. You know, you can tell they scanned some of it, and you can tell they kind of went back, and a lot of this was essentially probably redone from scratch. Tip-on jacket, you know, thick cardboard. But just because I've heard vibes from the tribe so many times, that's going to be my uh, first listen. Voices in Rhythms of the Creative People. Really, really nice. Everything so far is nice, clean, looks good. So far, so good. Actually, that... It's been a while now since I've actually looked at the uh, blurb on this, but that seventh album down, I actually don't have. So let's see here. Doug Hammond and David Daria. 
one of the non-Wendell Harrison Phil Ranolin titles. Oh man, see there. Now there is, unfortunately, that might clean up. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of like schmutz on there. Hopefully the ultrasonic gets it all. Hopefully it's just just some stuff cosmetically sitting on it. But I doubt it. It looks like we actually have some damage. Oh yeah. That is unfortunate. So you can maybe see right there that is actually embedded dirt into the vinyl. Very disappointing. I really, really, truly hope that they, I'm going to email them later. I really, truly hope they have a replacement for this disc. Because unfortunately with box sets, one disc is bad. Your whole box set is uh, bad. And farewell to the welfare. Wendell Harrison. Oh man, what is that? It actually just looks like a wisp when I first saw it. There's kind of a, not a big deal. That's not something that'll be audible. It's just like a wisp. It looked like a big scratch at first, but then when I shined it in the light, you can kind of tell that it was uh, not something that would affect the sound. Farewell to welfare. Okay, so that is disc number seven. So I am hoping they can take care of me on disc number seven. Otherwise, uh, that's not good. But they've got to have, you know, most of the time these labels, they've got spare parts, you know, to be able to take care of those issues. But that is the seven discs. Very nice. Booklet. Really cool. And like I said, I'll let you guys know tomorrow uh, sometime throughout the course of the video on uh, the sound quality of this. But yeah, check out our website, www.theingroove.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel. I'd appreciate it. Until next time.